Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel to get your daily Bible verse and Bible chapter. I hope you have a great day and come back each and every day for a new verse and a new chapter. Thank you and God bless. 1 Kings 12 Rodham. Rodham tra traveled to Shem, where all Israel had gathered to inaugurate him as king. Jeroboam had been in Egypt, where he had taken asylum from King Solomon. When he got the report, of King Solomon's death, he had come back. Rodham assembled Jerem and all the people. They said to Rodham, your father made life hard on us. Worked our fingers to the bone. Give us a break, lighten up on us and will will willingly serve you give me three days to think it over and then come back Rodham said King Rodham talked it over with the elders who had advised his father when he was alive What's your counsel? How do you suggest I answer the people? They said, If you will be a servant to the people, be a consequence of their needs, and respond with compassion, work things out with them, They'll end up doing anything for you. But he rejected the counsel of the elders and asked the young men he'd grow, he'd grow up with who were now carrying his favor. What do you think? What do you think? What should I say to these people who are saying, give me a break from your father's harsh ways. Lighten, us up, lighten up on us. <clears throat> the Turks he had grown up with said, these people who complain, your father was too hard on us. Lighten up. Well, tell them this. My little finger is thicker than my father's waist. If you think life under my father was hard, you haven't seen the half of it. My th father thrashed you with whips. I'll be beat you bloody with chains. Three days later, Jerem and the people showed up just as Rod Rodham said. Give me three days, I'll think it over. The king answered with this harsh and rude. He spun the council of the elders and went with the advice of the younger set. If you think life under my father was hard, you haven't seen half of it. My father slashed you with whips. I'll beat you bloody 
with chains. Rodham turned a deaf ear to the people. God was behind all this, confirming the the message that he had given to jo Joel's son, son Napet. through Elijah of Shiloh. When all Israel realized that the king hadn't listened to a word they'd said, they stood up to him and said, <coughs> Get lost, David. We've had enough of your son. Son of Jesse. Let's get out of here, Israel, fast. From now on, David, mind your own business. And with that, they left. But Rodham continued to rule. Those who lived in the town of Judah. When King Rodham next sent out Adam heard for the work for force, the Israelites ganged up on him and pelt him with stones and killed him. King Rodham joint, jumped in in his chariot and fled to Jerusalem. As fast as he could, Israel has been in rebellion against the David regime ever since. Jerem of Israel When the Lord when the word was out that Jotham was back and available the assembled people invited him to inaugurate and inaugurated him as king of Israel. The only tribe left to the David Ick dynasty was Judah. When Rodham got to Jerusalem, he called up the men of Judah and the tribe of Benjamin. 180,000 of their best soldiers to go to war against Israel and recover the kingdom for Rodham's son Solomon. At this time, the word of God came to Shemia, a man of God, Tell this to Rodham, son of Solomon, king of Judah, along with everyone in Judah and Benjamin and everyone else who is around. This is God's word. Don't march out. Don't fight against your brothers, the Israelites. Go back home, every last one of you. I'm in charge here. And they did it. They did what God said and went home. Jerem made a fort at Shuram in the hills of Ephraim and made that his headquarters
He also built a fort at Peniel. But Jerem, but then Jerem thought it was not long before the kingdom is reunited under David. As soon as these people resume worship at the temple of God in Jerusalem, they'll start thinking of Rodham as king of Judah as their ruler. They'll then kill me and, and go back to King Rodham. So the king came up with a plan. He made two golden calves. Then he announced, It's too much trouble for you to go to Jerusalem to worship. Look at these, these gods who brought you out of Egypt. He put one of the calves in Bethel, and the other one he planted. He planted it, placed in Dan. This was a blatant sin. Think of it. People traveling all the... way to Dan to worship a calf. And that wasn't the end of it. Jerusalem bit. Jerem built forbidden shrines all over the place and recruited priests from wherever he could find them, regardless of whether they fit for the job or not. To top it off, he created a holy new year festival to be held on the 15th day of the eight months to replace the one in Judah, complete with worship offered on the altar at Bethel and sacrificing before the calves he had set up there. He staffed Beth Bethel with priests from the local shrines he had made. This was strictly his own idea, complete with the feast in Judah, and he carried it off with flair, a festival exclusively for Israel. Jerodim himself leading the worship at the altar. Romans 12, 21. Do not be conquered by evil, but conquer evil with good. Romans 12, 21. Do not be conquered by evil, but conquer evil with good. One of my favorite verses is Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. If you have your own favorite verse, please put that down below and let me know what it is. Romans 12.21 Do not be conquered by evil, but conquer evil with good. Always remember to smile, because you never know what a smile can do for someone's day. Thank you and God bless. Thank you for watching today's video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe so you can remember to watch each and every day's video. Thank you for the ones that have been with me from the beginning. Please help me expand my ministry. Thank you and God bless.